Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing a quick overview of the Spyderco Sage 5 Lightweight. We will get into that in just a second, but first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, cool. So if you're uh, wondering why this knife looks familiar, it is because this is the Blade HQ exclusive. It has been writ dyed a darker shade of green. It's not that, uh, you know, um, double mint, um, kind of light, fresh minty green, which I hate. <laughs> it's a really nice Christmas tree green. I like to call it a nice, dark Christmas tree shade of green. And this is actually on loan from a really good friend of mine. I just have it for a few days. So I've had the chance to carry it a little bit. I wanted to do a quick overview. And the reason I am doing this video, a standalone Spyderco video, is because I have enjoyed this Spyderco more than any other Spyderco. Now, I don't have a ton of experience with Spyderco knives. I did a video, kind of like a mixed bag of a few loaners that I had from that same friend before they were fine you know it's not really my my thing but he got this one he dyed it a darker shade of green this is in m4 blade steel it's coated and i wasn't expecting much but as soon as i handled this it's pretty good i, I I'm, I'm really digging it it has a compression lock of course it has these uh the zip ties attached because that's my friend's thing. He puts those on all of his knives. So, you know, kind of like the Emerson way where you can pull it out of your pocket and it opens up. But yeah, I'm 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 impressed with this. So so far, this is my favorite Spyderco. The action is awesome. Feels good in hand. Now, there's some things I don't like about it. We'll get into all of that, but it's good to finally do like a, you know, it's not a full review uh really, but to do a longer video on just one Spyderco knife cuz usually um I am interested in other things, and I, I don't, uh, you know, I own, I think, two two spider goes maybe, but um, I'm glad I have this on the table. Let's go ahead and get into a quick size comparison so you can see where it stacks up. We got the Quiet Carry Drift, very, very similarly sized. It's that kind of standard I'm assuming this is three a three inch blade, but about seven overall. But we'll take a look at it, and let's go ahead and bust out the Skaha two North Arm Skaha. I'll put that up here, and let's get these measured up. The Sage Five Lightweight. Also, is it just me? Maybe it's just me because I I don't know. I, I'm not super experienced with Spider Coast, but. The names are so damn confusing. The Sage 5 Lightweight, the Manic 17 with the ball bearing crossbar. It's like, Jesus, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, maybe it's just confusing to me because I'm just starting to get into Spider Co's a little bit. It's not really my forte. Yeah, so three inches overall for the blade, about two and a quarter cutting length, seven overall. We know that the drift is about three and seven, and then the Skaha about three and a quarter seven and a half so pretty solid EDC sized um a little bit smaller than what i'm into lately for for my for my tastes um you know at the moment i've been into larger knives a little bit larger than, than this you know i've been leaning towards um three and a quarter three and a half inch uh blades but very very solid for for you know an everyday carry as far as action goes it's really good now this is uh you know spiderco has a few different factories that they you know make their stuff in this is taichung taiwan which from what i understand makes the best stuff even even better than the stuff that's um u.s made so i you know i can definitely feel it the action is super smooth Pretty sure this is on washers. Yeah, washers, really snappy, spidey flick. Detent is great. I mean, you know, really, really easy to flick out. Smooth, crispy. And then of course the compression lock. 
which at first I just hated, but I'm, I'm getting used to it. I, I see the appeal. Drop shut with the compression lock. Really, um, really just comfortable action, you know, smooth, snappy. Now, let's go ahead and go over just a few little details and specs. This did come in the nasty uh, minty green color. My friend Rit dyed it darker. I like this color much better. I think it goes with the coated blade really well. I like the color scheme. The texture, so I, I guess this is their, their FRN. I just don't, I, I don't know why, why, why? <laughs> It's like holding it just for a few seconds. I'm like, yeah, that feels good. It has some grip. But man, if you carry this in pocket or you're using it all day, this, I mean, at least for my hands, this thing just chews up my hands. It's its pretty rough. Uh, it would be nice to see, you know, some smooth G10, something. I'm not sure. And I'm sure someone's going to comment and be like, yeah, knife standards, they make it in smooth G10. You idiot. They already, they have that. But listen, if they have it, great. Um, but this is just a little bit rough for my tastes. We got M4 blade steel, which I am super impressed. I don't know if my friend sharpened this, but this thing is like a laser beam slicer. Um, of course, I don't have any paper on my desk to kind of demonstrate, but this has been great. Full flat grind. Yeah, I wonder, you know, I gotta ask him if he's sharpened this. Full flat grind, we got some kind of coating. I think it's like a DLC coating, but it's really kind of a thin, almost see-through coating. M4 can rust, you know, it's not a stainless steel. So it's nice that this is coated. You don't have to be too, you know, worried about it rusting or as worried as you would be if it wasn't coated. And uh, the zip ties, eh, you know, not my thing, but they are on there because my friend is into that. Reversible clip, as far as the clip goes, wire clip feels great in pocket. I love the wire clip. Um, my favorite type of clip, you know, really easy in and out of pocket. You just have the standoffs here. What else we got? Oh, a little bit of weight reduction. Let's see if you can see that. A little bit of milling, kind of these lightning pockets. And I'm trying to get the light. Yeah, there you go. On the liner, um, Ergo's pretty good. Again, it feels just a little bit small for my hand from what I've been used to. You know, I've been carrying around the FSD, which is a beast of a knife, and I've been really, really loving that. So I've, I've been getting used to these larger knives. So it feels just a little bit cramped up, but there's this nice forward choil. Feels great. Kind of gripped in my middle finger. Boom. Pretty good. I mean, it, it fits my hand well. Got the full flat grind, as I said before. Ergos are good. This is too rough. But hey, what are you going to do? Again, action. Awesome. I think overall, this is a pretty solid Spyderco, which... You know, it's I'm not I'm not a Spyderco hater, but it's not generally been my thing. Not really, you know. Even the compression lock, I'm like, ah, you know, it's not really my my tastes. I would prefer a you know something like this titanium frame lock, something like that. But this is kind of at least for me, kind of the the knife to to open my eyes. Like, oh, okay, Spyderco <laughs> Spyderco could do some good stuff here. I, I'm I, anyway. I've been been really in, into this, enjoying it, and I have another spider code that's actually mine. I know, I know, it's shocking. I I bought a spider code, my first like serious spider code knife, which is also in M4. So I'm excited to receive that. That should be here in a few days, by the end of the week, I think. So I will definitely be doing an unboxing on that guy. But just wanted to make this quick video, show you guys the Sage Five lightweight. I'm assuming there's a Sage 5 that's not lightweight. That's just the regular Sage 5. I don't know. I can't keep up with all the spider codes, but this is a great knife. Really solid. I would love if there were different scale materials or something that didn't chew up my fingers, but really been enjoying this. And I have a few more spider codes kind of sitting on my desk that are uh, ready for, for kind of like an overview. They're ready for videos. 
and um, I have to get these back to my friend in a couple days. So I will crank out a few more Spyderco videos coming up very soon for all of you <laughs> Spyderco fans. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Knife Standards. I'll catch you later.